and it's another version of Sauce Quest. It's another version. It's actually a recheck, so it's not really an episode. So we're at Super G Mart in Greensboro, North Carolina. We always check the peppers first, and this is the, the lowest I've ever seen them. So we got some green hobs, some orange hobs. Man, they do not have a good selection of peppers. They usually have, like, there's usually scotch bonnets up here and some different ones. Once in a while, you'll see a scorpion pepper, a ghost pepper. All right, so there's some. Oh, these are the machotes. These are, like, the ones that are, they're, like, sweet. Or they're just not hot at all. And the Korean finger peppers do have some red Thai chilies. They look pretty decent. See the stems are nice and green on them. I'm gonna grab a, a, a pack of those. Um, and then the green Thai chilies, I always like to get some of those. You can freeze them and then use them. You know, you grind them up in a paste or in for your uh, your green Thai curries afterwards. And they got some, some more shishitos and finger peppers. But we're here for sauce. They do have more chilies over here in the in the bins. So But anyways, the Sambao leak. There ain't no sriracha shortage here, player. Never. Never. They always have sriracha here. Just wanna let y'all know that. There's all the sweet Thai chilies and other srirachas and stuff down here. I try to show you guys this little section, but there's different condiments, spicy condiments and it goes all the way down. But for the best hot sauce selection uh, um, in this area, this is probably your spot. Lots of dried chilies. So it's an Asian market, but it's an international market. What'd they do? Change it? This used to be... They changed the aisles, I think. No, no, this is it. All right, guys. So here we are. We're doing a recheck. See if they have anything new, man. Come, I come out here about every six months. So... Is my phone blurry? Is it my vision? The pick a pepper. They got two different ones. Uh, Blue Mountain. I tried these before. I wasn't too impressed with them. Um, the Grace. I wouldn't buy a gun. I had one. Their green Scotch bonnet sauce. It was horrid. And you could taste the sulfur in it from the preservative they use for the lime juice. This is just, you know, it's commercial stuff a lot of water and citric acid these these have um, the Jamaican choice I'd say steer clear of those I, they're not good I mean I make my own scotch bonnet sauce because of this um, I really couldn't find a good scotch bonnet sauce I know there's some small craft makers that make decent ones out there no doubt I'm not saying that all right Marie Sharps beware good sauce right there so it's $8.99 but it's a big bottle uh, um, definitely you know, I don't like the smoke in Marie's. It's got like fake smoke flavor or something. I don't care for it much. Sweet chili sauce. Then you got these little cheaper, little cheaper spur tree. So this is basically like the Caribbean section right here. But there, there's, you know, it's better than a regular grocery store. Uh, if you go down here a little bit further, mate. You run into the Hispanic section, if that's what you want to call it. A la bravada, that stuff is trash. Um, all right, so your Cholulas. That's some big old cheap plastic bottled hot sauces. Hot sauce aged. Well, at least it's aged. Hey, these things with, look at this. This stuff, there's so much food coloring in it. Jalapeno pepper. Big old. Big, big old plastic jug. It's like a cheap quarter water, you know what I'm saying? Comment below if you know what I mean when I say a quarter water. All right, well, what we have here... Whoa, this is a plastic bottle of El Yucateca. Huh. That's insane. I've never seen those before. All these are plastic. Whoa. That is new. All right. Marisquera Red. I don't know if this is a regular red sauce or what they did. Different here. There's the old classic green. This stuff's got food color in it too, but it's really good sauce. I absolutely love that. Uh, that's Chipotle. Um, 
Yeah, the super cheap. Look at these. All caved in and stuff. That's I, I wouldn't even mess with stuff like that. Look at that. They got big old a big old bottle here. These are it's a bigger size. I've never seen that either. It's pretty cool, man. This is what I do, guys. You know, I love finding different stuff. Habanera. Holy cow, look at that. They actually say it like like a southerner. It's got an A at the end of it. Habanera. It's one of them. Give, give me one of them there, habaneras. Wow. Now, this Lozano, I believe, I believe this is a Costa Rican sauce. That logo looks familiar. Comment below if you know. I think this is, I had a guy in Amsterdam, New York that had a store and he had a Costa Rican hot sauce and the same logo. He used to bring it back from Costa Rica. He used to go, when he, you know, he'd buy some and he'd put it in his store. So I'm kind of interested in these. I don't like that they're in plastic. Um, cause usually if they're in plastic, that means they have a lot of preservatives because they can't bottle it hot. They can't do the hot fill and hold method. So this one is seafood habanero hot sauce. What? That's what that says. My camera's not focusing well. I, unless I'm not. I'm not able to see that well this morning. Seafood habanero hot sauce. These are both... So they must be like a cocktail sauce. Okay. That, that explains some things. <clears throat> so Cholula's... And the mojos and all that. Um, you know what? I could have swore there was more than this. I thought there was more than this. Well, no. I think they just used to have more. They cut back, guys. This is They don't have as much stuff, I don't think. They definitely don't have as much Marie Sharp's product that they used to have. Alright. Well, we'll look. Look over here and see. Well, this is the Latin drinks. There's, um, there used to be like an. Uh, hmm. They got all kinds of stuff here, though. Look at this place; it's gigantic. Uh, um, so this is Super G Mart in Greensboro, North Carolina. If you want like your Asian um, stuff, this is the spot to get it. They have a lot of like. Different curry paste and whatnot. Uh, let's see. I need some tuna fish for the kitty cat. I don't know. All right, we're about done here. Uh, guys, we're gonna get going. I'm, I don't see any more hot sauce. They, I, I swore there was like another small section, and I could be wrong. I know they got spices and chilies up here. Oh, you can get, look at, here you go. Here you go, hot sauce. The bulldog, I, I just, I don't trust that stuff, man. I eat the noodles once in a while, but, you know, there's the bulldog over here, every darn flavor you can imagine. This is actually where I got the 3X, was it, did I get the 3 No, I'm sorry. This is where I first got the 2X bulldog. The 3X uh, bulldog I had to order. So, and I don't think they have it. But yeah, look at this. is stacked for days. But they do have the Bulldog hot sauce. They have a lot of spices here. Mm. Uh, their stuff is... Their prices are good. Tons of spices. Look. And they got lots of... Uh, lots of dried chilies, too. These are really good. If you guys haven't had these, this is what... This is what... The chili piquins... So this is what, um, uh, like Tapatio and uh, Cholula and those sauces are made with this pepper. These are really good, guys. You make some Mexican food, just throw a handful of those in there, saute them, or cook them down in a sauce. They're really good moles, anything. You make a hot sauce with them. Oh, yeah, there's some more there. Really good stuff. You got the Chodiarbo, Guadalajilo. Chipula. Yeah. Alright guys, that wraps up another edition of Sauce Quest. Uncle Bokal freaking loves you. What?